Most of the events surrounding Jesus' birth were private events. They were part of family history, not part of the public history of the Roman Empire. So we can't confirm them directly, but where we can test them, where they do touch on wider history, they check out. For example, all the Gospel writers begin their accounts with John the Baptist, and he was a real historical figure who is also mentioned by the Jewish historian Josephus. If we think the birth narratives in Matthew and Luke aren't historically true, we have to ask, what did Matthew and Luke think they were doing? Perhaps they thought they were recording historical facts, but they were mistaken and these accounts were really just legends. Or perhaps they were making up stories that said something important about Jesus symbolically. But Matthew and Luke certainly intend their readers to believe they're making claims about what really happened. If they knew that they were legends or symbolic stories, this was dishonest. There is a lot of what Luke says about the birth of Jesus that we can't confirm. But as we saw last time, Luke claims to be a careful historian. And where we can check out what he writes later in his narratives, it's often confirmed by external evidence. Luke's accuracy is most apparent in the second half of his account of the beginnings of Christianity, the book of Acts. There are many places where Acts touches on wider world history, and wherever it does, Luke is accurate. So shouldn't we give him the benefit of the doubt in the places that we can't check to? If you'd like to find out more, why not read Luke's account of Jesus' life for yourself? There's a link in the text with this video.